Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to import products from CSV into your WordPress WooCommerce website. Currently, I am on dashboard of my WordPress website and here you can see that there are no products added here yet. So, it's completely empty website. What I will show you how you can import the products from a CSV like this sample you can see I have a couple of columns like title, image URL, SKU, price, description, short description, image, meta description and meta title. So not all of these um, values will be used but um, in, in some important columns I will add data from these columns. So this is my custom CSV which I grabbed from scrapping from an, an another website like uh, you can see I have approximately 120 115 products and there are titles and let's start import and here you can add your CSV click on browse and select the CSV which I just showed you I have the CSV in another folder uh, if you click on this existing product it will update only existing products matching the existing SKU but we are adding new products so uh, we will just import our new CSV so Let's skip these, uh, this update and uh, go to the folder, grab that sam sample or uh, I will just copy this on my desktop and then click on browse and go to desktop, select that file and click on continue. Now here's the important part where you will map your CSV titles with the WooCommerce uh, headers. So here you can see we have uh, all our CSV mapped here and all the WooCommerce uh, tags are uh, titles are here. So whichever you want to import from CSV to the WooCommerce field you may, must select. For example this categories is automatically assigned to categories because um, this is um, this is for the same headers. Uh, we will use in WooCommerce so that is automatically assigned title is automatically assigned as named and it is detected by the WordPress WooCommerce default importer and it's already our title here and it is grabbed into the WooCommerce as name of the product so that is also correct now the image SRC uh, is not there SKU is there because SKU uh, spelling is same as the WooCommerce but images are not regular price is also there description and it's in HTML format but it's assigned to the description okay uh, more info is not assigned because this is not a default thing you can add it to uh, other fields okay short description is also there images too now we will use images to uh, because as images because these are the comma separated um, links from images so these are selected all others are empty we will just click on run importer and wait for it to add all these products to WooCommerce one by one so while this uh, these products are importing uh, let me tell you something about the import export process you can add import uh, you can add products from Amazon you can add products from Aliexpress you can add products from eBay to your WooCommerce using this process I have a lot of other tutorials like uh, scrapping data uh, from Amazon to CSV scrapping data from Walmart to CSV scrapping from uh, Shopify to CSV or scrapping from eBay to CSV and once you have that CSV file uh, just like the sample I have then you can easily import all of these products into your WooCommerce so here you can see I have uh, the price column uh, with this um, extra this this extra uh, sign 
uh, which you can remove from Excel as well. But uh, WooCommerce will automatically remove that because uh, it have its own mm, import process. So let's wait for completing the import process. Do not close this uh, tab because this is working in the this this cannot work in the background and this tab must be opened while it's importing the data. Okay, we are almost fifty percent done. It is because we have uh, more than a hundred products and all of these products have extra images, extra large images, which is quite huge data to be imported. So it's using the links to download uh, from that, those URLs. Okay, let's see, uh, open the products tab in new tab and let's see if the products are adding. Earlier you saw that I didn't have any products added yet, but now you can see the categories, the prices, the stock status, the SKU, they, these are all updated into my WooCommerce store and almost 36 products are there with all these fields and let's check the process it's 50 percent which means there will be more products just click on import These are the prices. If you want to change the prices, uh, when you scrap the data from a website and you want to change the prices, for example, let's update the prices from 15 to 45 or 5 to 6 or make any other changes like this. So I changed the prices for these eight products. Let's import this. I will save this sample on my desktop and let's click on browse and choose that same file which I just saved and now we will check this existing products that match the ID or the SKU. ID is not there because these are uh, new products in the CSV but the SKU is there. So when you um, check the product by SKU it will exactly update the prices for those products so if we uh, click on continue now then uh, map the the file with the with the woocommerce headers then it will automatically update those products with the new prices please like and subscribe to my channel thank you